Greetings from beautiful Florida. Today we are going to make banana heart stew. So what we need to do now, we got to take banana heart out of this banana. As you can see, this banana uh, fell down. It was knocked down by the wind and um, unfortunately it's not actually going to produce any fruit uh, because it's, uh, the roots are only partially connected to the ground. So. Uh, instead of you know letting the whole thing go to waste we are at least going to be able to make banana heart stew because all the parts of banana are um, edible and they can be used for food and you know food preparation so I'm going to show you now how to get banana heart out and then I'm going to show you how to make banana heart stew all right so I'm going to use macheta and the knife to get the banana heart out And I'm gonna chop it up here. This Try to flack it. That's it. Got it. Okay. So now we're gonna do a little surgery. I call it looks like surgery on the banana stem because you need to get to the core. So banana part is the core of banana plant. So it's high, high in fiber? Oh yeah, banana is extremely healthy and uh, the heart of banana is very, very, very good for you and I'm going to talk about that when I'm showing how to, when I'm uh, explaining how to prepare it. Now I got to peel all these layers, which is really tricky. And uh, all of these are leaves, so banana doesn't actually have a, uh, uh, have a uh, you know, a stem like a tree. It's a, it's a vegetable. It has leaves, and all these leaves are wrapped around each other. And here it is. Wow. There it is. Banana heart. I don't know if you can show that. 
Yes. I see. So this is how. That's Park, like the ten tenderloin. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, it's very kind of like soft and uh, wet and uh, spongy. I think spongy would be a, a good word. So yeah. So see, this is what you can use to make stew. You can fry it, you can, you know, cook it in all kinds of ways. It's, um, it's very, very, very good, very healthy, um, very delicious. So now I'm going to um, take it to the house and um, prepare it for lunch. All right. All right, so how to prepare banana heart. So what I did, I chopped it in smaller pieces so I could wash it because it's very long, banana heart is very long. So I have these bigger pieces which are clean and washed. So what you need to do with banana heart, first thing uh, when you wash it is to put it in water with lemon, squeezed lemon juice, squeezed um, citrus, whatever citrus you have because banana likes to turn brown. It turns brown very, very, very fast. As you can see, it's already changing color. Banana heart is changing color and it, it, it will turn brown, which is, it's not a disaster, but if you wanna have it, you know, stay the same color uh, in your stew, um, you know, you, don't, it, you, know, you can, that, that's the best thing you do if you're not gonna cook it immediately. All right, so what I do, I cut it in half and then I chop it into smaller pieces. Like this. And then I put these smaller chopped pieces into cold water with squeezed lemon juice in it. That way it, they will stay the same color, they're not gonna turn brown. So it is better to have fresh squeezed lemon. Fresh squeezed lemon, lemon juice, anything, oh. whatever you have in your in your house would be will be fine. So let me show you that again. What I do, cut the bigger piece in half, chop it up. smaller pieces and again put it in cold water with squeezed lemon. Now one thing that you will notice when you are cutting banana heart, you will notice that it has these what looks like hairs, little hairs that come out of it. Um, it looks like wool, like pieces of wool or wool strands. Don't get scared. Um, some some of the cul culinary videos are saying that you should be removing these, but don't worry. When you start cooking uh, your banana heart, it, it will make no difference whatsoever. It's gonna blend in with everything else, and you're not gonna notice any of this. It will cook perfectly well. So I am not worried about that at all. So you can you know you can completely ignore that. As you can see these these little strands. Yeah, I don't, I don't try to pull them out. I basically just cut it up, you know, because when I, when I cook it, I notice that it doesn't really make any difference in the meal at all. Because, and also it would be pretty much impossible to pull out all these strands because they are part of banana heart anyway. So, why cook with banana heart? Banana heart is incredibly healthy. As you all know, uh, banana heart, banana has a lot of potassium. It has a lot of vitamins, minerals in it. But why banana heart? The most important quality of banana heart is that it cleanses your body. Uh, because of the spongy structure, let me see if I can maybe show you that closer. I don't know how clear if you could see, but banana heart has very spongy structure. 
uh, cellular structure and when you cook it it takes in the um, you know the uh, sauce and juice that you cook it in and it's absolutely delicious so what happens when it goes through your digestive system this spongy structure cellular structure it has a lot of fiber in it it will you know pull out all the uh, 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 toxins out of your body and it will clean your body out of all the toxins and um, it will uh, you will feel like there you will feel very light you will feel that your digestion is working absolutely perfectly and you're gonna feel great after and it's not gonna give you any gases if um, you know if anyone is, is worried about that you're gonna feel absolutely phenomenal um, excellent for losing weight if you have um, you know any um, uh, weight issues um, so this you cannot go wrong with banana heart it's absolutely delicious now you can you know prepare it in many many ways I prefer to make stew with it because um, I think it you know tastes best in stew all right so this is how you cut banana hard and then I'm going to show you how to do the rest of the steps. All right, so I wanted to show you what I put into banana heart stew. So I put onion, garlic, shiitake mushrooms, one fennel, carrots, parsley and cilantro, lamb, I put one yam, yam is for those who don't know something that could be close, the closest description would be tropical potato, very good source of potassium, manganese and antioxidants, very slimy when you touch it and very ugly looking when you pull it out of the ground, but it grows absolutely great in Florida. Then I put radishes from the garden and wild mustard leaves of Florida's wild mustard it grows absolutely everywhere in Florida especially in springtime and of course banana heart all right so basically what you do you chop all of this up you put it in your stew pot and you add some Himalayan salt at the end you can also add some tomato sauce and that's pretty much it that's that's what i put in you can put whatever you feel like eating this is what i had in the fridge at the time of making banana heart stew so i always try to get something that i grow in the garden something that i find uh, a wild edible in the nature and um, I try to mix a little bit of everything and uh, create, you know, to get a good quality stew with uh, diversity of vitamins and minerals. All right, so now we're going to chop it up and make stew. This is how banana stew looks like. I cook it on low for 30 to 45 minutes. I added one spoon of Himalayan salt. At the end, I put some strained tomatoes without salt. And I also added one habanero. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. That's how you make banana heart stew. Now, if you wish to see how to make stew, step by step, please watch my uh, video called How to Make Stew, step by step instructions. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and um, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and bon appetit!